Okay, um, just going to do a quick little kind of an unboxing here. Um, so far, what I've done is I've taken apart my little Daiwa Tatula RCT100H. This is a 6.3. It's got the T-wing system. I've taken it apart so that I can change over the spool. Kind of an unboxing here. This has just come in today. This is a Ray Studio Custom Parts. Tatula CT or Tatula CT. It's a microcast spool. It's a model RS TAT CT 34. Comes in this cool little case, little screw cap. Comes off. Inside that, we've got our spool. Little foam protector comes out ready to go got quite a shallow spool on it our original I've actually got some tape around that because I've still got some leader attached to that I've got a 30 pound suffix 832 on there and that is the comparison version that I've got there so that one there is the microcast and this is the original spool they look like they're around about the same quite a bit lighter I would imagine there so we'll pop you straight in seems to fit in nicely there quite a shallow spool so it's going to be for a lighter line um, so I'm fishing for bass or even for brim if I want to use the bait caster to get right up into those snags I could use that maybe bass that sort of thing in the same sort of scenario uh, 10 pound obviously typically fish is heavier than it's um, intended for I suppose higher breaking strain typically but we'll basically hook that one up uh, get you back into place and get every little thumb screw back in and we'll give you a little bit of a whirl but really interested to see how that goes it's a lot cheaper for me to buy one of those online than it is to buy I think a um, a replacement one but that looks like it should do a pretty good job there I'll spool that up shortly with some braid that I've got and we'll see how much will go on there but I've got one that I picked up recently seems to spin pretty nicely very similar to the original one the idea being that it being a bit lighter it's going to be able to cast those lighter weights so we'll see how that one goes looks pretty cool the old one can slot back into there so I'd probably take that out with me while I was out fishing if I was going to change over between species nice and safe that can stay inside my tackle pod on my um, Viking GT or my reload while I'm flicking around on the lighter line switch back over the end of the trip or that sort of thing so pretty cool I can take away two different options there pretty swift little changeover and be ready to go give that a go see how it works we'll spool that up and have a bit of a look all right so this is what I've put on there this is one I picked up recently it's not a particularly expensive one but we've managed to fit 150 meters of a four kilo black magic fiber glide pretty silky smooth stuff actually but um, four kilos works out to be around about uh, close to um, close to nine pound I suppose so we've got a nine pound nine ten pound line on there um, it's actually got little one meter indicators on this so this would be interesting but 150 meters we've managed to fit onto that uh, microcast spool the uh, Ray Studio custom parts Tatula CT microcast spool so 150 meters worth of the four kilo and that's a 0.13 mil diameter 0.13 millimeter diameter this says it is a PE line which is not braided it's up to four times stronger than mono with a similar diameter so interesting we'll see what this one does don't know what it's going to be like it says supple and smooth 
not sure how it's going to go, but um, we'll see how it goes. It says ideal for spinning reels. Might not be the best choice for this, but we'll give it a go. Can't see why it should be too much different for that. A bit of a look at that. So that's him spinning now. I've obviously got my um, tightness set pretty loose, but we've got that on there. It looks pretty neat. Not in a position to have a cast with it at this point in time, but we'll give that a go. Um, yeah, really silky sort of a feel about it. So I've no idea how it's going to handle in the water. At worst, I'd go and replace it. I was given that one when I bought my rod recently. Um, so I'll, uh, there's one they were offloading. Doesn't hurt to try. And if it's not the one I want, then I'll replace that with something like some Suffolk 832. For the time being, that should do the job for me. We'll give it a bit of a, a whirl next time I get out, perhaps. But um, in the meantime, that's pretty cool. We'll, um, yeah, we might report back once I've had a bit of a chance to fish with it and, uh, and see how that's casting on my lighter bait caster setups. Cool, thanks guys.